تا میم یاره آر نمر تا مهساره آر نمر تا میم یاره آر نمر تا مهساره آر نمر تا مهساره سیران لوی میاره آر نمر تا مهساره سیران لوی میاره یارم گت ناری پس انشی ناری تاری پس یارم گت ناری پس انشی ناری تاری پس اول ور تام کائنات این مسیون ساری پس اول ور تام کائنات این مسیون ساری پس آر نمر تامی میاره آر نمر تام ساره آر نمر تامی میاره آر نمر تام ساره آر نمر تام ساره سیران لوی میاره آر نمر تام ساره سیران لوی میاره You've just heard a traditional folk song, Armenian song, piece of Armenian music. It all started in 2013 when a friend of mine, very successful entrepreneur, was googling the phrase Armenian music. And he ended up with the search results of today's pop music, strongly influenced by other cultures. After doing some research and discovering, realizing that the real Armenian music, true to its origin, simply doesn't exist in high quality digital recordings, he picked up his phone and called me. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in my 40 year music career, I was offered to undertake a cultural project so attractive to me that I found it impossible to turn it down. I'm talking about a project, the implementation of which was directly connected to the issue of the Armenian cultural identity. A cultural identity. We use this term a lot these days and stress how important it is to preserve the identity. How can we be aware of the history of the people? the paths they have gone through, their values. Shall we read history textbooks? Watch Discovery or History channels, visit museums, or just spend money and travel to the country? I offer a more interesting option. Relax, listen, and get to know its traditional music. About a century ago, over 3,000 music pieces were collected, classified, notated, put into notation by Sohomon Sohomonyan, better known as Komitas, musicologist and Armenian priest, composer, arranger, singer, and choir master. In the course of his travels throughout Armenian populated areas, he was visiting ordinary peasant families, eagerly gathering every possible variation of songs of work, songs of ritual, patriotic songs, lullabies, and many, many more. There was no fancy technology available back then. No iPhones, no computers, no internet to speed up the process. All he had was pen and paper, but he was equipped with a great and noble idea to preserve the cultural heritage of the Armenian people and to pass it on to generations to come. Proved to be a powerful tool in the hands of a genius. Every song is a story. Story of birth and death, love and despair, work and survival. Komitas truly believed that these songs, better than any other source, have a powerful potential to reveal to the world the cultural identity of the Armenian people. It is the 21st century out there and the world is ruled by technology and I find it is of great help in carrying on the challenging legacy of Komitas, which we are honored to do. So this is how it started. We established the fund Cultural Renaissance and launched its first project, Traditional Armenian Music Treasury. We knew we had in our arsenal a dedicated team of professionals, vast music heritage yet to be explored, modern technology, and most importantly, we were completely taken by the idea. 
But the first obstacle we encountered was the poor state of the archives, be it recorded or sheet music, published music. We had to examine one by one every single music piece, song, among thousands and thousands, transcribe, categorize, classify, assimilate and prepare it for the recording session. We had to do it from scratch, from zero, taking into account we live in the era of technology. This titanic work was perfectly planned, organized and directed by a Gomitas expert, a composer, Arthur Shahnazarian, who dedicated his entire life to exploring the phenomenon of Gomitas. So uh, then we moved to the next stage, auditions and rehearsals. We needed a perfect artistic team to record this music, this, this huge library. Uh, our objective was to present the Armenian traditional music true to its origin without any modification. But the problem was that in the past, our ancestors, Armenian peasants, used these songs, not the way we use them every day here to perform. I'm a musician. But the music was the part of their everyday life. Like farming song. I remember as a student, I would go to the remote, remote villages to collect some forgotten lullabies to record with tape recorder, equipped with tape recorder. It was uh, early 80s. And I remember clearly and the old woman, she was, we were trying to persuade her to sing a lullaby for us. And she was so curious, she couldn't even imagine a lullaby without an actual baby in her hands. And so we took a pillow, wrapped in a blanket, and handed that imaginary baby to her. After then, I remember it clearly, after only then, still reluctantly, she managed to sing the song. That's amazing. That was amazing. It's a perfect example how strong music and its corresponding life activity were connected emotionally back then. So we, our, our, our objective was to, to achieve that true emotion in the rehearsal room. We certainly didn't demand that our, our singers go farming or engage in plowing in order to record farming songs. But instead, we did our best to recreate, to imitate those conditions our ancestors spent their lives in those days. Then we moved to the recording studio to record the incredible amount of songs on instrumental pieces. As a record producer, I assure you that sometimes it takes a week or more to mix, master, to, to record, mix and master a one single song. We did 500, ladies and gentlemen. After that, thank you. After that, we had to, we had to transcribe or draw with a computer sheet music from the recordings we made in the course of this project using modern technique called music engraving. Another enormous task that required highest possible special skills. In doing this, we kept up with the international standards, including transliteration in Latin alphabet. What exactly does it mean? It means that you actually might not speak Armenian, but you can still sing in Armenian using Latin characters. It means an Armenian mother anywhere in the world can sing a lullaby to her baby, even in a non-native environment. This is the potent formula to keep our identity alive. So all this work in its entirety is now available for free for anybody and everybody without exception. Armenianmusic.am is a music portal in four languages, which is simple and comprehensive. Every single song comes with the unique identifier. Original dedicated artwork, PDF file with sheet music with transliteration, the synopsis of the lyrics and its source. 
Every song tells a story, adding up to 500 stories, a story of an entire nation within a single portal. This, ladies and gentlemen, is about who we are, where we came from. This is about us, our identity, a cultural identity. Has anyone in the audience ever felt stereotyped? Raise your hands, please. See? Isn't it frustrating sometimes? Well, I know how it feels. So our mission is to create a society in which we are not defined by physical attributes, but by our rich culture. So this is not one of those projects we come across every day, a job you do for a living. This is a life saver we throw into an alien and chaotic waters to save our national identity. This is the best prescription to prevent developing of a deadly disease of a lost identity. This is the ark that won't let the unique samples of the Armenian traditional music to vanish with the flood. I chose ark, the ark, not merely as a metaphor. One of the finishing touches of this project was a physical creation of a treasure box, which is a music box, physical music box, which, will, which brings together all the music pieces, all the recordings made in, in the course of our project. It will be uploaded, it, they are uploaded on the, in the computer and it's mounted on its surface. We plan to pr present these music boxes, these treasure boxes, to various organizations worldwide dedicated to securing the cultural diversity of our planet. UNESCO, for example. This treasure box, we hope, will allow us to promote the jewels of the Armenian traditional and sacred music worldwide. Until then, you can still search for, discover, and follow us on these social networks and websites. Historically, the Armenians have had no choice but to struggle for the very existence of their kind. In the absence of a united Armenian state, the language, religion, and culture became our weapons that helped us to fight and survive. Today, we have a choice to carry on that struggle for survival, equipped with modern technology and more effective resources. Currently, there are uh, Armenians among us who, who don't even live or work in their historic homeland, but they invest into projects of extreme importance for our national identity. Uh, one of those patriots took upon himself uh, projects like founding Wikipedia in Armenian, purchasing William Sorian's estate to save it from oblivion, purchasing Narekati's manuscripts, returning them to where they belong, planning and carrying on the unique music project, creating a national music treasury. The person responsible for all these undertakings, a dedicated patriot standing by his people and culture, a friend of mine, you remember I mentioned, in the beginning of my story, who called me, Mr. Arthur Janibekian. Thank you, Arthur. So, <laughs> picture a beautiful garden with lots and lots of flowers, organized in groups and patterns, with the same shape and color, very well tended by a gardener. Imagine this garden represents the cultural diversity of our world. And you approach this garden, look around, and you easily recognize tulips, roses, daisies, orchids, lilies. You identify them because the gardeners put tags and signs everywhere. Now come closer. Get down on your knees, take a magnifying glass, and examine every inch of the soil. All of a sudden, you see a tiny little flower that doesn't look like the others. It is one of a kind. 
and it's alive. And it's beautiful. It has been there all along. How did it survive? The weeds, severe winters, did it ever rely on a gardener's mercy? No. It is still alive thanks to its very deep and extremely powerful roots. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you, does this beauty have a right to claim its own identity just as its robust and tough neighbors? Yes, it does. So does Armenian music. Music that is about <laughs> perseverance, undying hope, and strong faith. Thank you.